What's good, A1 gang? Hey, man, we got a special, special person in the building today, man. My boy Lee to the VI, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up out the UK, man. A lot of y'all know about him. Y'all know about him long before me. You know what I'm saying? So it's only right that we got this interview in. You know what I'm saying? Just to, it's, This is more, more or less, this is a chopping it up session. You know what I'm saying? Just to discuss some of the things about the uh, UK. You know what I'm saying? A few things about over here in the, in the States. So me and bro just gonna chop it up, bro. You can uh, introduce yourself, let them know who you is, where to find you, all that type of stuff. Yo, I've got tons of cameras on me, so I don't even know like which ones to talk to. But <laughs> um, if you want to holler at me, you'll find me on YouTube as Lee to the VI. That's L W E T O T H E V I, and basically you'll find my channel, man. Um, same on Snapchat, YouTube. I'm repeating myself. Same on Snapchat. Same on Twitter, same on same on all the platforms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just type in, just type it in, you'll find them, man. Google yeah. all that, you are gonna find, bro. But Definitely. yeah, man. So uh, I, this, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a little context of how me and bro end up leaking up, man. Shout out to my boy, y'all know who y'all is over there in the UK, man. Uh, one of my one of my uh, followers or whatever hit me up like, uh, yeah, bro, you I, I know you rock with the uh, with lead to the vi, you know what I'm saying? Lead to the vi. Let me uh. Let me see if you know what I'm saying y'all could get something in the works together. I'm like shit. Well, let, you know what I'm saying. Let them know if it if it if it's that, then we'll get it done. You know what I'm saying. And then bro, you know what I'm saying, took the initiative to hit me up like you. Yo, I heard you fucking with my shit. You know what I'm saying. Salute. You know what I'm saying. And then we linked up after that, and it's been you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be history in the making. You know what I'm saying. So that's how that happened. Bro, Real natural, man. All right. For hey, for sure. And for y'all over there, man. For for y'all in the UK that's watching this from Bro Channel, man. Y'all can find me at Stay Down come up underscore december on instagram and then stay down come up on youtube man but uh so me and bro we just been chopping it up over the, what bro like the last month or month and a half month or two maybe even yes it's been a while man okay been okay a while. so yeah me so me and bro you know what i'm saying this ain't the first time we talk you know what i'm saying we cool and shit you know what i'm saying on some whole we be talking about whole other shit than this shit you know what i'm saying so one of our conversations led into you know how we felt about this uk shit and we was just talking right now, and bro said, "Hold on, let's get the cameras rolling. Let's let's put this on 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 cam." So my first question to bro was, "Which rapper has been rapping the longest out of RV and Hetty One?" Because for y'all that know me, RV is my favorite rapper out the UK. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this drill shit, I got I got like two groups. We gonna get into that too. I got like two groups of people that I fuck with the 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 drill type of rappers, and then you know the deep rappers. But yeah. So I asked bro, I'm like, who been rapping first, RV, Hetty One? Bro said he believed uh rv is what you said right well i don't know which one's been rapping for the longest out of two of them but the first guy we come into contact in the uk most of us was heady one okay heady one yeah there's but there's stuff of rv rapping from when he was like 17 years old and okay on, like yeah. so i'm not sure who technically started rapping but okay. for the most of the public they come across heady one first Okay, okay, because I was wondering, because I looked at the Instagram and I seen Hetty One had more followers than RV, but I thought when I go back, I see videos of RV when he was named like Young RV, uh, they said his name was like Rev back in the day, and I see yeah. some of these videos, so I'm like, okay, so he had to be rapping longer, but when I look on Instagram, I see Hetty One's follower, following is bigger, so I wanted to know why was that, and did it have something to do with RV possibly going to jail, and you know, Hetty One got bigger at that time, so. Yeah, I mean... Because I have to live out here in the UK, I ain't going to delve too deeply into this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, after a particular situation involving Hey One, if you want to find it out, I'm sure you can go find it out on like YouTube or whatever. I might even you know, know about the situation. You're getting to know about it. Um, and I said, I might even know. You're talking about the uni situation? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. right? Basically, a few things, it's rumored yeah okay. a few things happened after that and basically as Hedy one dropped the tune no better his career just took off mm, no better okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it's him and, and at that point more people knew about Hedy one obviously because of the uni situation okay than rv so the spotlight was on Hedy one so it would make sense that his following just went up like that okay. you know what I mean? and he ended up capitalizing off of it yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That, see that there? That's the perfect word. Hey, one's a guy who knows how to capitalize on the situation. Mm. Okay. You know, it's, you know, it's in his videos how he'll have that moment that goes viral. Yeah. You know, that, that bit where he's walking across on the track with Dave. And he's walking across and grabs the back. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that part. Okay. The track. Uh, what is the track's name? What's the track with Dave? Um, 18 Okay. 
18 and up. And he just walks directly to the bag, which is, which is a metaphor, isn't it? Get into the bag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 sit though. Okay. So let me get into these other questions, man. Uh, we got me and bro both got a list of questions. We're going to go back and forth, kind of just asking each other. Yeah. Um, so my first my first question that I wanted to lead it off with was, what similarities do you see between the U.S. and U.K. rap culture? Okay. Um, other than the fact that we both speak English, like, um, we do it ourselves. Like, we make this music from the street level up. Mm -hmm. ourselves there's no real infrastructure or help for street musicians okay. they really have to put in their own money just like you guys do so and really have to grind up you know what i mean um yeah and as you know like with that the streets fund the music as well mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like certain activities tend to fund the music as well you know what i'm yeah. saying um yeah our gangster rappers are just as serious as yours and i want to say that with my chest <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like our gangster rappers are serious. They're not not for play, not for play. And that's because the UK is such a small place. That's why mm. I kind of be careful because I go out to events and that. And I, you know what I'm saying? I want to say the wrong thing. Somebody be feeling. Hey man, my bro. Hey, for anybody that might feel any type of way from what we saying, man, we this is a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? I got people from the yeah. states, you know, other countries trying to figure out what's going on over there in the UK. So this is all. Yeah for learning purposes, you know what I'm saying? So don't hold nothing against us, really, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to figure some shit out, man. Jump in the comment section, too, if y'all want to let us, if y'all want to correct some or give us y'all opinion on something, man. But, Most uh, definitely. But yeah, I get that impression, too, from, uh, you know, the, the drill rappers over there. I guess is is, is what y'all call the drill rappers would just be the gangster rappers? Nah, There's no. There's a difference? The drill rappers, how can I say, drill rappers, you could describe them as gangster rappers, you know, when they tend to have that whole gang culture thing going on with what they do. But there are some gangster rappers that don't do drill. Drill is just a mm. genre of music in the UK. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so who is one of those uh, artists? Uh, gangster rapper. Yeah. Some of you know already, I'd say Gibbs. Okay, okay, yeah. he did. They, I think somebody told me that was y'all 50 Cent. Somebody compared like, him to him. I wouldn't compare Gibbs to 50 Cent, man. Gibbs is just an animal in, in himself, man. He's not like he's not in anybody's lane. Okay. Like, so from your from your point of view, what is some of the things people are liking about him? Number one, his reputation is certified. He's a guy you you don't like. You just know. You know the energy that moves around. Certain okay. People. I've heard when this brother comes true to certain events, the crowd moves differently. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's bananas. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. I think also, because I got, I got a few things listed here as well, like, um, like our flows are similar to your faster rappers, like Twister, mm -hmm. T.R.A., yeah. and Luda, like yeah. back in the day. Like the drill rapper flows, you notice, notice they tend to drop that choppier flow. Mm -hmm. You know, we t because we've got such a close relationship with music that's of a high tempo, it's like, even though there's, and even though there's, a, even though there's exceptions to the rule, it's a young man's game, you know. It's definitely a young man's game. I think rap culture in general is something for young people. Yeah. As most of the adults, they don't even have the time to fucking listen to that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, man. Um, yeah, the police as well, they make it difficult for artists to progress and strive. You know, as soon as they start getting themselves out of shit is when the police basically want to arrest them and put them back in jail. You know, you yeah. had situations recently with guys like, you know, Blueface. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know Twenty One Savage got arrested. You know that whole um, what was it? What was that whole? Yeah, that whole uh, the immigration thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like that because you're young, successful, and black. Like you know, the eyes of you know, you know. Like so that, so 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 one of the things that's similar is how you could become a target. You know, over there yeah. once you be getting the rap game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also, we have the thing of they stop our performances. Our artists that are really coming from the street trying to change their lives, they go out of their way to stop their performances. And I don't understand how that makes sense when somebody is essentially building a business for themselves and walking away from a life that was contributing to bullshit, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'll never grasp that, but 
I think they're trying to send a different message. I don't, I don't know. In what ways do you feel that they stop the performances? Are you saying they physically show up to shows or they contact the no, promoters? They, they, the police will call up events and say, this person can't perform here under this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Like, that's how they move, man. Gigs had to go through it. Um, I know Fredo's gone for, through it. Um, Damn. Who else? Like, a few drill rappers as well, man. It's, they do their thing, man. Okay, five uh, UK artists. Okay, this is in no particular order, right? Okay. I'm gonna have to look at this list here. Yeah, okay. I wanna take notes of these real quick, so I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be typing these in real quick. Okay, so in no particular order, and these are just artists of the current scene that everybody online knows about, you know what I mean? Okay. So keep it in that ballpark, because it, a, pe a few people I feel like would get confused, you know what I mean, if I went way, way back. <laughs> uh, I, know my sh I know my shit when it comes to UK music, oh yeah, listen. But yeah, right now, in no particular order, I think Fredo, come on, okay. like, Fredo represents for me, he represents a hell of a lot, man. I love an artist who brings that money talk, that success talk, you know, especially coming from the roles and going through the stuff he's gone through, man. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite over there, for sure, for sure. Yeah, easily, man. Um, Ambush, you know Ambush? No, nah, I've seen his name a couple times, but I don't know who he is. Listen, man, dial into Ambush. Oh, dial yeah, into Ambush, man. Okay. He's a, he's, he's a, I like hype rappers, you know, okay. hype rappers. Yeah. And he steals on the mic, and he has this demeanor of a guy you just don't want to approach anyhow. Okay. You know, there's a level of respect that kind of, I feel that, comes with this brother, do you so, know what I mean? So he's drill? Nah, he's UK rap. He's oh, just regular rap? rap? Yeah, 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 he's more UK rap. Okay. Um, yeah, my nigga, you know, I'm gonna have to say, this nigga's a certain drill rapper, so sad he's locked up. CB, man, I bang for this brother every day. <laughs> you know CB, right? Yeah, definitely. He was one of the first ones that I got put on to over there. I'm gonna be honest, CB was the one that drew me in when I was like, okay. I got a, mm. uh, I wasn't expecting this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. RV, RV became one of my favorites. He, I was already rocking with him, but I, I had him and CB kind of in that same like niche. But then once he, you know, both of them went to jail, but mm. like, it seemed like they said CB damn near one finna be getting out no time soon. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of like RV music kind of started being more like relevant to me. But he yeah. was definitely one of those ones that like, he showed me that it was like, I don't want to just say like real niggas, but it's like some street niggas over there for real. And you could tell by some of the shit he said. Like one of the things he said, he said, you ain't never, uh, he said, you ain't never did a man bad on the mains or something, didn't read about it on the front page. But I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 you know, that's some real shit. You don't know about that type of shit unless you know about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But listen, the, that gangster mentality is around the world. And I think the internet is letting everybody know in it. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, Recently, we just discovered Australian drill over yeah. here in the UK. Yeah, I think so, you did that uh, message one four. Yeah, yeah, I listen, that. man, crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I'm just like, all right, you know, there's a street movement going on all all around the world, basically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think with CB, like the whole thing with CB and RV going going in and out of jail, like you know, with the CB thing, obviously they had to make an example of him. That's what I feel they gave him such a long sentence. You get know I me? Mean? Mm. I don't think they had because they didn't have to. You okay. know what I'm saying? They didn't have to give him that sentence, but I felt like they just wanted to make an example of the brother. And it's fucking sad because his music absolutely fucking slaps. Yeah, man. Free CB, man. My, <laughs> yo, free him up, man. He's one of my favorite drill artists. When I think of top five drill artists, CB is always in that list. And I, you won't find him in too many other people's lists because he's not lyrical. Mm. But I like the fact that he brings a vibe and you know what you get from this brother is so fucking real. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? you just like, wait a minute. Because I've actually spoken to this brother on social media and I'm careful on social media. Yeah. You know what I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, shit, you don't want to say anything wrong, just think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> I got the most respect for these men, then, you know what I mean? And I, he's a guy I feel also a, someone I live vicariously for his music because I could never live that life. Okay. So it's like, I'll be listening to it, it's just like, shit. It's the same like you're saying with RV. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's that's Great. deep. That's deep. How you touched the, how you touched on it and said how you can live vicariously through you know what they doing because you know niggas ain't trying to really be uh racking up charges and living life like it's uh Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? But some of the music helps you be able to get that vibe when you in that you know you in a car or you with your niggas. You know what I'm saying? It helps you be able to get that feeling like you know turn up time. You know what I'm saying? Or you, even in that moment where you be like, man, I wish a motherfucker would try something right now. You know what I'm saying? They get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They get you in that. Just, just for the basic shit like gym. Hey, oh, definitely, yeah, hear, definitely. If I hear talk on my name in the gym, it's like, <laughs> I'm an man. It's like, it's funny, man. I'm good. It's serious, man. I'm telling you, bro. I don't think, you know, that's what, that's something that hip hop's always been able to channel, whether it be from the state side or the UK, you know, yeah. that aggression. When I, I think of guys like DMX, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like those big guys, like, yo, you know, he, that's, that, he's a legendary guy in my eyes. You know yeah, what I'm exactly, saying? To everybody. Yeah, it's crazy, man. The next guy, you know, I'm going to mention this guy, you know, he's relevant because he just come out of jail. Jay Huss, man. Jay Huss? Jay Huss, yeah. Jay Huss, like, Jay Huss changed the sound over here. You know we've got that Afro beat sound that goes on right now? That. No, you know the xylophones? That xylophone kind of sound on the more R&B style songs that you hear over here? No, I'm not exactly sure. If you listen to, um, is it Jay Huss, did you see, did you, yeah, you know, um, did you see by Jay Huss? No, I did. Let me try to pull it up real quick. Just a little snippet. You see Jay Huss. Okay. Um, this crap, this is the longest my computer ever took. Now I'm doing the most important shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know that commercial, you know, you've heard that sound. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Jay Huss and the J5, the producer, they kind of pioneered that sound with the Afro Beats flavor. They didn't bring the Afro Beats flavor, but they kind of perfected it for the masses on his album. What's his album name? Common Sense. Okay. You know what I mean? On that album, on that album there, Jay Huss kind of really flipped the sound of the UK and a lot of other producers and people not, not even just jay Huss, Huss, like jay is jay five the producer as well so the combination of jay five and jay Huss on, on that album, album there yeah. really fit the, the uk sound, sound you know what i mean, mean? Oh, definitely it opened it up a little bit more yeah and, and, and you, you got, got tons of artists who come through on that sound, sound. you think of guys like swarms okay yep i know that is you know, you know what i mean like, like yeah, yeah definitely um the last guy i'm going to mention here because i've done four so far Absolute, Absolute legend. legend. And if, if I, I don't mention him, him like, like, my top five shit, shit. <laughs> has to stay here. Okay, okay, that's what's up. <laughs> has to stay here, my man. Like, you know, you know like, like, I, I would, would, you know, you know I, I would throw one on him on on mentioning there to gigs for what he's done for the UK scene, scene okay. you know, and how long he's been moving. But you, but you see, Dave, Dave he's, he's, he's like a golden child right now, man. He's like a huge golden child. I tell you, anything he touches, yeah, oh, I, know, I noticed that. Like Dave, Dave is one of those UK rappers. He, him, RV, damn near. Like if they drop something, pretty much, and it's a video to it, I gotta get to it. Like they, they, that's yeah, yeah. they made it to that level. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially yeah. Dave. Like, uh, yeah. Like, cause I, I started. Dave was one of those rappers too that I uh, got on early, and I didn't know how young he was actually from listening to what he was saying. If you listen into the context of his music, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. damn, like, where, you know what I'm saying, what is it, what, what has he been through to make him understand this level of, you know what I'm saying, what he be talking about through his music, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, he's, a he's a very introspective guy, guy. he really has, has a way, a way of, of thinking, thinking about things, things that not a lot of rappers do, and, and with, with his style, style of rap, he goes against the great, mm -hmm. cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. you know, you know what I mean, and the normal stuff is more cool with Dave, but it's that mix of the fight between the street and... The normal, the normal everyday day, day, day is a good person. You know what yeah, I mean? He do it. I think he do it well though. You know, because like if you yeah, look at yeah. like with that uh that Funky Friday, you know that was a nice mix up. Mm -hmm. what I, you know what I'm saying? That was perfect. Mm -hmm. How he linked up with uh with Fredo Fred, on that Fred. one. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. You know, because he. You can see, like, from his other music, he tries to be conscious to a certain extent. But at that at that time, I feel like he came in with that flavor that you know that kind of let you know, like, hold on, I ain't just that type of rapper. You know what I'm saying? I'm I got sauce too. You know. And that's, and that's exactly, exactly what was needed because when he when he when he dropped, he dropped that, that song, no no no, no street tune has been to the charts, and I swear they hit number one. one. 
I don't know what in the UK trust. I think they got a number one with that song. But it's the first UK space artist going on in the UK. You got to think that was last year. Damn. Like, like the music, the music game, game has changed so much in the UK now. Now, real, real so chart 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 in the top ten, ten. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Okay, okay. So we got the list, man. We got Fredo, Ambush, CB, J Hus, Dave, and an honorable mention of Gets, man. That's dope, man. That's a super dope top five. I gotta give you my top five now, man. Go on, man. Um, let me see. Um, okay, well, okay. Well, is, 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 no, 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 is, no, yeah, no order. This is. I got. I actually got. I got two two different top fives from the UK. We talking about styles. Okay. Okay. It's I wanna, I wanna them both. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's no it's no spe- specific order though. But it's RV, Fredo, Hetty One, Dave, and Rap Man. That's that's what I got for my top five, man. Cause okay, okay. To, to, RV, RV what? what? RV because like I I feel like I want to have CB in my top five, but I, if I can't have you know CB, I'm ha- I'm more than happy with having RV because I think he got a little bit more of the the pizzazz and like you know the you know lyrical skill than uh, CB. So I'm happy with yeah, that, yeah. but I, I like RV overall. Just like uh, one of my favorite RV tracks is that uh, damn, what the fuck? Light that light. I think it's called that light work freestyle. Yeah, yeah. That 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 one was fire. He was like uh. Just some of the things he said. He said, like one of the bars he said, uh, I could teach you about survival, rolling with a big stick like Moses in the Bible, like some shit like that. Like that was just fire to me. Like, nigga, you gonna say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so so that's why I like RV, because he mixed the drill shit so perfectly with the bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and that's yeah. that's just magical to be able to do it on that level. And then yeah, I got Fredo. Yeah. I like Fredo because Fredo to me is most similar from the artist who I like over there. I feel like He's easier to a de- or he's just easier to take in from American perspective, you know, because he's already talking about the trap shit. He do a lot of flexing, you know. That's what our music is big on, you know, get getting money, talking about you trapping, uh, and then you can just tell like by some of the shit he say that he's a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't like I don't know these people to you know or their histories, but I'm talking about what what they say in their music. You can tell like you can't just put certain shit together and you never really experience some of that shit. And I, yeah, I'm real yeah. big on that. I appreciate that. Like for people to rap about what they actually do. I don't really be feeling like if I see a rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it like this, but if you looking like you just came from like the suburbs somewhere, like good parents household, I don't want to hear you talking about the streets and the struggle and you know what I'm saying? All this other shit. Cause it's just not believable. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I know you don't relate to what I've actually had to go through. So see that's- I, See it. See it, see it, sorry, 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 I don't sorry, mind, I don't mind, I don't mind if I'm not, it's not, not the suburbs, just, like just, like just like you, but just what you talk, what about, you talk about, like you're saying, like you're saying can't be from me, from the street. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's, I don't mind if they from the suburbs, but talk about your <clears throat> shit from there. Don't try to fake it like you had it, you know, just, the ones who faking like they had it rougher than what they had. That's what I don't like, because I grew up poor as hell, so. I understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit ain't sweet. Ain't nothing to just be glorifying, like, you, especially when you had it easier. You know what I'm preach, saying? Preach, <laughs> preach, <laughs> But, uh, so that's why I fuck with Fredo. Hetty One, honestly, he, Hetty One is one of those rappers that I like a lot, but he's hard for me to understand with. I'll say probably, I can understand, I'll say 60% of what he's saying, depending on, <laughs> depending on the song, because he get, and then he he say a lot of things like uh like on that match day he was talking about uh he said some he just say he used a lot of y'all references that I wouldn't know if you know what I'm saying. Hetty one, he he one is coded. He keeps he keeps a lot of stuff he says is below the radar. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, RV, with RV, you're looking for, you know, uh-huh. you know, and it's a, you know, you know, you know, you know RV's, RV's gonna give you them spectacular punchlines. Yeah. That's what, that's what RV does. does. Hedy but Hedy One is a more, sh- you know, you yeah. know, yeah. It, it's, it's <laughs> more, that guy, like, like, you know, leaning. Lean, lean, he don't, he don't want you to understand what he's talking about. Yeah, and that's, and that make it a little bit harder for me, but. Yeah. Just so, just so, just so, as long as him and his niggas know, and a few other street people, you know what I'm saying? That but you could tell though the way he put his music together, you know what I'm saying? That he, he's very talented and shit. Like even at that no better, like I didn't know how big that song was. I thought that was just you know because I went like right when he dropped that, I believe. Well, I'm not sure when he dropped it, but when I heard it, I just thought it was like one of his regular songs because people didn't like geek it up to me like like oh this song you gotta hear this. They was just like you know react to this song. But when I heard it, I'm like mm, 
And then I heard about the the uni situation first. Matter of fact, this is a good opportunity for me to speak on it because honestly, when I first jumped into the uh, UK rap shit, you know, I was real big on the drill shit, like loving it because I'm feeling like everybody doing what they talking about. And I ain't gonna lie, when I, somebody DM me that video with the heady one shit, and then I seen the video and, and you know, he had the little satchel and he had his hand in there, you know, and you know, basically we call that, we call that, you know, pulling a bluff move or like pump faking, like basically. Yeah. Yeah. But from what I seen in the video for my first time watching, I thought he really had a, you know, a strap on him. I thought he had the whack with him, you know what I'm saying? So when I seen the part when they was jumping him, I'm like, I was confused. Like, what the fuck? That don't, cause over here, like, cause a lot of people say he didn't sh start shooting people and shit cause he was at the uni thing. But over here, when you're in the streets, it don't work like that. It don't matter where the fuck you at, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. But what I came to find out was that he was just pulling a bluff move. So I'm like, oh, okay, well then that's different. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people was getting on my ass like, bro, hey, cause I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't really from the streets or something. I'm like, what's going on with this? Like, well, why he ain't get the blam and shit? But that, you know, then people let me know. They like, and then that's when I heard the no better. And th and that just made it so much even better. Like, oh, he just got it's with the a, shit, a, but no, better. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Then he said somebody it's got, a, somebody a, got dropped. Uh, it was another, I don't know if it was the, uh, like RV said in one of their freestyles, he said, uh, try to run up on gang, what the fuck were they thinking? And then he was like, uh, like he basically said somebody got dropped 24 hours later. So, you know what I'm saying? That's different. When, when you hear his repercussions behind the shit that people do, then, then, you know, it's like, okay, now this is a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? But from me just looking from the outside and seeing that video, you know, it's people who don't like him. You know what I'm saying? Even as, as good as an artist he is. So it's some people going to make it, you know, to American. Like, oh, you you think he tough? You got to see this video. You know what I'm saying? But after after look, getting a little bit deeper to it, I see, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can get caught lacking. You know what I'm saying? And shit can happen to you when you get caught lacking. So that was just one of those situations, though. But I fuck with him, though, man. But yeah, man, that was that was some crazy shit. Honestly, right? Honestly, the whole right? heady one, one situation, situation like, like, it's it's, if we could talk, if we could talk openly, openly and frankly, and frankly you, know I mean? yeah. you know what I mean? But this, but being, the this being the incident, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, 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 you, I think you, I think you pretty much, much understand what I want. And the impact, the impact of No Better, of no better as, a song, as a song, you had Drake, you had Drake doing, doing it in his Behind Bars freestyle, like, like, shh, shh, shh. Okay. You feel me? Like, that come from Henny. You invented that? Yo, yo, the first, yo, the first time, time I heard it, was <laughs> okay, that's what's up, man. You had so many, you had so many yeah, Joe tunes. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. 